Rihanna has launched Twenty here to what seems like an interesting reception from the audience. Because whilst others are rooting for the launch and saying it was long overdue, they want 20 years from Rihanna, they've been waiting for this. There's an lot of people who are skeptical and they did not hesitate to voice their opinion. And in all of this, Rihanna is doing what she does best, which is doing whatever she wants. So in this video, I'll bring down the full product launch playbook of 20 years, including the mistakes, the missteps, and the good practices. The analysis will focus on three things around the launch, which is the launch team, the launch content, and the launch funnel. Now, before I even go down to the breakdown, let's look at some of the mistakes that people have been highlighting. The first one is when Rihanna dropped the launch campaign video and people kept highlighting that she was wearing a wig, everybody saw that as a mistake. Like, why are you launching hair products and you're wearing a wig? We can't see your real hair. But later on, this was dispelled in a way because we saw a picture of her washing her hair, washing what people were saying was a wig. Now, is it a wig? Is it not? We don't know, but it looks like it was her real hair. The second mistake that people were highlighting was that she was seen wearing her natural hair immediately after the whole wig debacle. And people did not see that as aspirational because they were saying that the hair did not look nourished, the hair looked short, why would I want to buy hair products from you if your hair is looking that way? That's not something that I aspire to, too. So people didn't see that. They were like, why would you wear your hair like this in the middle of your launch? You're doing this before even the product has been launched. That's a mistake that people have been highlighted. Personally, I don't know. Because I've done launching for so many people and I've studied launching so much that I feel like it wasn't a misstep. It really wasn't. Because if you know launching, you know that you need a lot of attention, no matter whatever it is that you're about to launch. You need a lot of attention. You need a lot of people to talk about you, to come to your page, to see what's happening. And that may move some to buy. So bad press, whatever press is good press when you're about to launch. So I don't know about that. Then the final thing, going back to the campaign video, was that people felt it gave them a false hope. Because when they watched the campaign, they were expecting something different. They were expecting wigs or styling gels or other products. But I don't know. I think that was intentional. It doesn't, because it's Fenty hair, it doesn't mean that, oh, because she started with products, you know, moisturizer, shampoo, and all of that, it doesn't mean that she wouldn't go later on to do those things. There's a reason why those things were strategically placed on the campaign video. Because to me, that shows that those things are about to come. And people are even doing a great job for Rihanna by pointing that out right now. Because that means she can see, okay, so the market really wants this from me as well. Let me drop the products first, and then I can move on to the things that people say. So if you look at um, Twitter, people were saying things like, oh, I expect something like styling gel, you know, age control, which she has, and some other bits from Rihanna. Now, Rihanna will use that as market research and be like, okay, that's about to come. It's here to stay. Fenty here looks like it's here to stay. So there's so many things that she can drop later on. She doesn't have to drop everything right now. I feel like if she drops it right now, it will overwhelm people. So she needs to drop them bit by bit. So now that we've got the mistakes out of the way, let's look at the launch playbook. So I'm going to break down this pre-launch playbook in three ways. So the launch team, the launch content, and the pre-launch funnel, which I signed up for. So stay tuned for that. And let's start with the launch team. The first thing that we know is part of the team is inclusivity and diversity, which is part of the Fenty brand in general. If you look at the campaign video, you will see that it's for all hair textures, all hair types, whatever hair that you have, it looks like it's for you. And then we've also seen children inside the campaign video. So she hasn't said anything about that yet, but we see all of that. There's different hairstyles, there's different people in there. Then the second thing that I've noticed is repair. Repair seems to be a prominent part of the team. We see it in the website, the word is splattered everywhere. And even one of the core things that she highlights in the benefit content, which we'll come to, is repair. 
Then the final thing that's part of the theme is evolution. So Rihanna talks about how her different hairstyles mark her evolution and her growth over the years. And that's something that many women can relate to. So that's also part of the theme. Now let's look at the launch content. I was really, really surprised with the launch content because it seems nicely done. Not too much, but it's nicely done. Let's start with the first one. The first video that dropped was the campaign video and it was like a teaser. It didn't say much. We knew it was Fenty hair, but we didn't know is it wigs? Is it hair care products? What is it? We couldn't tell, but we could tell there's different people in there. You know, there's kids also inside the video. There's men inside the video. So what it did was that it started the conversation on social media. Everybody's like, Fenty hair is coming, but what is it? So that was the first video. Then the second video after that was Rihanna's brand story. Straight away, she lets us know why she created Fenty Hair. She sits there and she tells us everything about it. It was a short video, but it was really good because straight away, people started connecting to the brand because of her brand story. Always tell your brand story in your launches. Remember to do that. Then the third video was like, a, it wasn't a video. It was pictures of the models and it was just like filler content in there. That's how I saw it. And then the other one that we had was who is Fenty here for? So straight away, Rihanna comes back and it's her sitting there telling you who exactly it is for. And she breaks it down and tells you exactly who it is for. Then we've got the fifth piece of content, which was a video as well. And it was like the product reveal teaser. So all she did was look at the product. She didn't say much. She wasn't talking in this video, but she did like a teaser for people to see what the products are. And then immediately after that, she followed it up with benefits content. If you have my lucrative launch roadmap, you know, I break down all these different types of launch content. But she did the benefits content and tell us exactly what Fenty hair for. It's for hair, for different types of people. And the main thing that it does is that it repairs. And also she introduces something that she calls Replenicore. That's something that was used for all of the products. So this answers the question of why should you buy? And then straight away she tells you, why should you buy? You should buy because Fenty hair will not only repair your hair, but it will smell good all day. She made sure she emphasizes that it will make your hair smell good all day, but also at night if you're sleeping with your boo or something like that. So straight away she's telling you why you should buy. Now let's move on to the pre-launch funnel. Now remember, this is the funnel for the pre-launch. All of this is for the pre-launch. I haven't talked about the launch yet and everything she's going to do after. This is launching on the 10th of June. So this is everything she's done before the 10th of June. Okay. So now when it comes to the funnel, she's got the link for you to go to the website. But what I like is that it's not coming soon. Put your email in here. No. For you to sign up, she's giving you an incentive because we all know that Rihanna's products, they sell out very fast. So for you to sign up, she's saying you will get first access on the 10th of June while everybody else will get to buy on the 13th of June. So that will be incentive enough for you to sign up on the website right now and give your email address and everything. So straight away, there's an incentive for you to sign up. But then... When you sign up, there's also an upsell, which I notice it says if you want to get 15% off on all the Fenty products, everything else like that she sells, you can sign up for text over there, which I did sign up for. And the automation was really good. I just clicked on that and then it tells me what to send. I sent it and that was it. It lets me know that I'm in. And then when I put my email in, it also lets me know that the 15% is off. Welcome Fenty fam. Start your 15% off. Start, you know, start shopping. Start putting everything in your cart right now. Waiting for the drop, which is the 10th, which is on a Monday. So I'm recording this on a Sunday. If you guys want me to do like the launch playbook breakdown as well, let me know and I'll do that.